Texas. Oh, I'm super excited. You know, I've had okay, the opportunity so that I believe this is the third SEC championship game that I've been able to play in. And, you know, it's just a blessing to be able to play in big time games like these because, like I said before, these are the games that I grew up as a kid watching, you know, the games when I would go to uh, middle school and high school, everybody was talking about, hey, who you got this week, who you got this week. So to be able to be in the opportunity that I'm in right now and be able to go back to my phone and all my friends from high school and all my family around the country, they're all, you know, blowing my phone up, texting me. It, it means the world to me, to be honest, because I don't, I don't feel like anybody pictures themselves in situations like this, but, you know, I just kept my head down and continued to work and God did the rest. And another undefeated regular season for you guys, how do you put that into words? Unbelievable, you know, it's things that you don't even you don't even think of when you're at a younger age But to be honest those type of things started right when the season ended last year You know, we didn't have the we didn't have the, the I'm not gonna call it a blessing But we didn't have you know the opportunity to take you know a month off, you know, you know a long time off from football It was really probably two and a half three weeks and then it was right back to training right back to winter workouts which people know winter workouts is the hardest part of the year but you know it really started then uh, our coaches they challenged us coach and Claire he always told us if you want to if you want to be different if you want to do different you have to practice different you have to have a different mentality like you can't just want something without putting the work in so they put that mindset into us from day one you know we had a new team uh, I feel like one thing they, they all they always said was the last year's success isn't our success. Like even though there's some players on the team, that team success it won't. You don't carry over points. You don't carry over anything. You have to put the own work in yourself. And I feel like, you know, our team, especially our younger guys, the freshmen, the sophomore, all of them, you know, took that personally. And I'm just proud of my guys. Kendall, Kendall a career night for you. 156 yards, two TDs. Do you feel like you're starting to maybe peak at the right time as you're going into this game against the, the SEC championship against Alabama coming up? You know, I, I said this last week. Uh, every every game before my prayers, I always pray to God and I. Ask Ask him, you know, don't don't let me do too much. Just let just let me do what you think I'm ready for. So, you know, if God allows me to do the same thing next week, cool. If he doesn't, cool. I feel like I know at the end of the day there's always a bigger plan, even if I'll get in my feelings or you know, get upset, like the plan is always bigger than me, so I keep that in mind. How's it feel to be a